Oscars are in full swings. The, the world's megastars mm. making their way down the ruby red carpet at the Dolby Jodie Foster. Theater. Look at that. Jodie Foster there, the youngest ever Oscar winner. Taxi driver, remember that? Mm. Wow. Yeah, she is an beautiful. icon of Hollywood and looking beautiful there on the red carpet, yeah. just arriving. Some of the started. big stars starting to come out now, aren't they? A little bit of drama on the red carpet as well, as there always is. Oh, um, yes. Beautiful <laughs> outfits. Someone fell over, but we, we try not to show we'll too much. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, for awesome. more, we're joined by celebrity stylist Elliot Garneau. Um, well, <laughs> are you seeing early stages, some trends emerging? Look, I reckon black is back, guys. Like, wow. I have seen so much black on the red carpet. As we've been sitting upstairs watching all these incredible celebrity arrivals, everybody is wearing black. Now, for me, the Oscars is the red carpet that personifies timeless elegance. It really is the black tie of all black tie events. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to wear black, look at an outfit that you won't regret in 10 years' time is absolutely perfect. Eva Longoria, as you can see now on the screen, looking absolutely flawless in this black gown. It hugs her body incredibly. Her hair and makeup is absolutely flawless. I think that when you're wearing a black gown like this, you really can't go wrong. And Nat, you can attest to this from your Stella cover yesterday, looking, <laughs> looking phenomenal in that black Matichewski gown. Hey, here you'll see Vanessa Hudgens. She's just debuted her uh, announcement of her baby bump and again looking absolutely stunning. I think what's really uh, interesting to note about wearing a simple black gown is it all comes down to the fit and the accessories. So letting the accessories do the talking, letting the black dress act as the canvas for the rest of the look. That Eva Longoria necklace. Isn't it? was just popping, like mm. sparkling, mm. because they That's get... They get given stuff, don't they? Well, they like, get to loan really stuff. Nice I mean, they don't, they don't get to go home well, look with at the it. Necklace. But that's frosting, mate. That is yeah, what we call that. frosting. That frosting, is a, darling. That is <laughs> frosting, darling. She is freezing with that necklace on. But she looks absolutely incredible. And for me, again, as I said, it's all about the blank canvas of the gown and then accessorising appropriately with the right jewels to complement. And so you get a cohesion overall. Mm -hmm. Nothing's competing in these looks. They're actually complementing each Beautiful. other. And it's interesting, isn't it? Because when you go out, you think, oh, shall I just do black? Here is your answer. Let's have a look at some of the other ones. There's Vanessa Hudgens, as you mentioned. Jamie Lee Curtis, also wearing black on the red carpet today at the Oscars. These guys have just arrived. There she is. There she is. And like a true Melbourneian, I'll always say lean towards black. Mm. You'll never regret it. So yes, Jamie Lee Curtis looking absolutely incredible in the black gown as well. And again, back to simple accessories. You, uh, eye line immediately goes to the cuff that she's wearing on her wrist and it complements the dress beautifully. So, so far, any faves from you? Sandra Huller is my absolute favourite. Now, she's nominated for Best Actress for Anatomy of a Fall, and I've oh, spoken oh. quite extensively about my passion for the designer Scaparelli. It's headed by an American designer called Daniel Rosebery, and she's wearing custom Scaparelli. She looks like a movie star. This yes. fits perfectly, again, in black, with the perfect embellishment, the perfect amount of accessories. She's letting the shoulders do the talking. I mean, you wouldn't want to mm. maybe be sitting next to her in there. You might, <laughs> you know, cut one to the cheek. But apart from that, it's absolutely flawless in my books. I think that the fit and the accessories are absolutely perfect. Nailed and the it. simple hair and makeup is perfectly complementary to the rest of the look. For me, so far, I know we've got a few more to roll in. We're mm. keeping our eye out for that's... Margot, but she looks unbelievable. Front on, it looks awesome. I know. It? That's mm. definitely letting the dress do its do the, do talking, the talking, isn't it? Um, and what would a red carpet be without a little bit of drama? Yeah, we love a little bit of drama on any red carpet and there's definitely been some drama halfway through. Oh. We've had a bit of a tumble from poor old Liza Koshy. Now, I always say to my clients, girls, if I'm going to give you some shoes, give 24 to 48 hours in the hallway, do a little strut, make sure you're comfy, make sure you know your territory. Look at those. That is some Lady Gaga level platform shoe wow. right there. So she has really taken it upon herself to go hardcore on the platform. And do you know what? She handled it like a pro. Like yeah. she got straight back up. She was straight back on the media wall and taking some amazing photos. And ultimately she looks unbelievable. And I kind of love the shoe. I, I, I think the shoe's kind of fun. I love the Nice that we got a chance to see them. Yeah, we got to see them. Yeah. Exactly. Otherwise, you wouldn't have even there seen them. So maybe this shoes was... at Oscars right now. Exactly. It could have been intentional <laughs> the whole time and she just wanted to plug the shoes. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> Elliot, see? that Conspiracy. was great. I love Thanks, it. Elliot. See you soon. <laughs>